going from seeing that active nine-year-old little boy we had last spring to being told, hey, you need to take a year off. I mean, it's definitely hard. A multi-sport athlete in the Waynedale Youth Program, nine-year-old Carson Thatcher had his eyes set on playing summer baseball, but then he developed a headache. On the 13th, he laid around all day and had lots of vomiting and just wasn't himself. So I called the pediatrician and they said, I think he has a migraine, you better take him in. That's when his mother, Melissa Hendershot, took him to Akron Children's Hospital. It was more than a simple migraine. We went up to Akron Children's and uh, they came back and they said, we see something on the CT scan and the neurosurgeon is waiting in the next room for you. They received devastating news that day. Her precious boy was diagnosed with medulloblastoma, a form of brain cancer on May 13th just one day shy of his 10th birthday. I felt like my world had crashed down around me basically because, I mean, even though we have other children, that's, that's one of my babies. A mom devastated by this news knew she had to be strong for her son and her family. It's kind of a feeling that you don't know how to describe. You are devastated for one, but in the very next breath, I knew we had to do everything possible to take care of him and make sure he was gonna be okay. Instead of sitting and dwelling on the unchangeable results, now 10-year-old Carson wants to be the change. Give hats to other people who have brain cancer. You see, he's on his fourth round of chemo, losing all of his hair. He said he finds joy in wearing new hats. That's when he decided to organize Hats of Hope in an effort to collect and distribute hats to other pediatric cancer patients nearby. When they get to chemo, they start losing their hair. So then you get a hat so your hair, head doesn't get cold. He has his eyes set on a goal of 500 hats and they're starting to flow in. It just makes me really proud that he would think of something to do like that and hopefully we can keep continuing to make a difference. With news that matters to you. Even if it's just a small difference, we're, we're doing our part. I'm Jordan Miller.